Number 10. Joy Gap Bok Choi Gap Bok was arrested for suspicion of burglary in South Korea. Having been in and out of jail most of his life, he had also practiced yoga for 23 years. In every cell door, there is a food slot that's about 6 inches tall, basically the length of a dollar bill, and 17 inches wide. One night, Choi asked the prison guard for some skin ointment. Amazingly, this man was able to slide through the tiny food slot in just 30 seconds with the ointment over his body, with the benefit of his training in yoga. Choi was captured six days later and was placed in a prison cell with a much smaller food slot. Number 9. John Dillinger John Dillinger is on record as carrying out one of the most successful prison escapes of all time. Having been named as public enemy number one for bank robbery, murder and grand theft auto, he was arrested in 1934. Taking no chances, the authorities had a mixture of guards, policemen and a National Guard troops holding him. Carving a piece of wood into the shape of a gun, Dillinger managed to lock up the whole jailhouse with his fake gun before fleeing with the only master key and stealing a sheriff's new car. Three days after Dillinger's escape, he robbed the bank in South Dakota. After five months on the run, Dillinger was shot and killed by special agents as he was coming out of the movies with his girlfriend, who had previously cooperated with the police. Number 8. May's Prison Escape Known as one of the biggest prison escapes in British history, 38 Irish Republican Army prisoners who had been imprisoned for terrorism charges on the English mainland escaped from H-Block. H-Block was considered escape proof with its 15 foot fences and each cell encased with concrete walls, barbed wire and electronically operated steel gates. After holding one of the guards hostage, the prisoners took control of the block. Some of the prisoners took the guards clothes and car keys. All 38 men eventually escaped in a truck that was delivering food supplies to the prison. The men were eventually caught in various locations and some were even found in America and extradited back to the UK. Number 7. Pascal Payette Originally sentenced by a French court to 30 years in jail for committing murder during a robbery, Pascal escaped from jail in both 2001 and 2003. His final escape attempt was from Grasset Prison where he escaped using a helicopter that was hijacked by four masked men from Cannes Mandelieu Airport. After landing, they released the unarmed pilot. To try and fool the police, he underwent cosmetic surgery, but was recaptured in 2007. Number 6. The Death Camp Escape during the Holocaust, Alfred Wessler was famous for escaping the Auschwitz death camp. During Passover, Wessler and another prisoner called Rudolf Verber climbed inside a hollowed out wood pile. To hide their scent from the dogs, they placed two wooden boards around themselves, sprinkling the ground with Russian tobacco that was soaked in gasoline. They hid from the Nazis for four nights before fleeing in Dutch suits, overcoats and boots which they had stolen from the camp. Then using a child's atlas as a reference, they crossed into Poland and then made their way to Slovakia. Number 5. The Texas 7 On December 13, 2000, seven men made an elaborate attempt to escape from a maximum security prison near South Texas. Using a number of well-planned methods, the seven convicts managed to overpower and restrain 11 prison workers and three uninvolved inmates, who were then bound and gagged. They struck during one of the slowest times in the day when surveillance was at its weakest. Stealing clothes and credit cards, the prisoners managed to impersonate prison guards and escaped. All of the escaped prisoners were eventually caught. Five of them are currently on death row awaiting lethal injection, whilst one has committed suicide and one has already been executed. Number 4. Frank Abagnale Made famous in the Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks movie Catch Me If You Can, renowned conman Frank Abagnale was sentenced to 12 years for various forgeries in 1971. With the help of a friend on the outside, he managed to get his hands on a real prison inspector's business card and was able to con his way out of jail by convincing the guards he was a prison inspector, thereby making good his escape. Frank now works for the good guys as a security consultant in stopping forgeries. Number 3. The Inglorious Bastards Leon Feldhandler and Alexander Pachersky were imprisoned by the Nazis during the Second World War at the Soberboard death camp. The two men taught the other prisoners to make knives and other sharp-edged weapons in the prison workshop. They then waited for officers to come and inspect the workshop before killing them with their carved weapons. This helped 300 prisoners escape the death camp, making it one of the most successful prison escapes in the 20th century. Number 2. Parkhurst Prison Escape Three men named Andrew Roger, Keith Rose and Matthew Williams escaped from UK's Parkhurst Prison after creating their own tools. These guys created some pretty amazing escape tools like a 25 foot long steel ladder to get them over the prison fence, a gun set with ammo and a key that would unlock every door and gate in the prison that was carved from memory. With all these clever tools they managed to escape with ease. They were eventually caught after hiding in a shed for four days. Number 1. 
escaped from Alcatraz. During his 29 years of operation, there were 14 escape attempts from Alcatraz prison involving 24 inmates. However, the most successful escape attempt was made in 1962 by Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers. They managed to burrow out of their cells, climb to the top of the cell block, cut through the chain fence, and then make their way to the shore where they constructed a raft. They then vanished, and until this day, they are listed as missing and presumed dead.